This is Mario Central once again reporting to you from Green Greens or Timbers Island and how anticlimactic how I finished off in the last episode with uh, with uh, with Wizpig's final boss and now we're here but we are going to do one more thing and that is the trophy race and we're going to finish off the last bit of balloon popping which is actually surprisingly easy. See, here we go with Space Port Alpha first. The balloon challenges in this world are extremely easy. It's not even funny how easy they are. They are really, really easy to do. I mean, they're just... You know what, what is so easy about them? Kind of like the silver coins. It's because they have it on one path, so it's just, it's so much more easier. Like, and they, you can't really hide it much places. It's very easy to, uh to get all of the balloons in this, in fact. This is one of the courses which I can actually say that I've gotten all the gold balloons in. Yeah, it doesn't, it didn't happen often. I mean, in this, when I actually did this myself uh, with the uh, stylus, it's one of the few courses. I mean, I think I got Ancient Lake perfect, but that was about it. I mean, pretty much everything else, like, it just... No. <laughs> I have only gotten only Silver Rank. I've gotten Silver Rank on all of them except for... Actually, no, I have gotten Silver Rank on all of them. It's just the, uh... Some of, the, some of them that have actually gotten the gold balloon, which doesn't happen often, because you have to get all of the balloons in order to do that. So, I'm not crazy enough to do that, so I actually never did that. In fact, I think when you do, you unlock the silver coin challenges for the uh, extra tracks in the DS game, and I'm actually going to talk about that. Um, what I plan to do, and in fact, if you haven't noticed, the quality of the DS is actually much more better. I don't know why I didn't realize this before, but it was not on a proper brighting setting, which I didn't realize. And when I did, I'm like, you fool, all this time. But I guess it's better that I do it now than never, right? But um, it just, you know, I didn't realize it was not, it was on like a backlight setting or something like that. And it was supposed to be on poppy bright. And I thought that would be too bright, but that is what it's supposed to look like. And now it's much more colorful. And you can actually see, and there's no graphical glitches that happen that I usually see in these videos. So it looks much more nicer. I mean, I'm looking at it now, it's it's pretty good, <laughs> I must say. While I'm clicking all these balloons, but I do want to talk about something. When I'm done with this Let's Play, uh, I want to do a bonus episode showing off the different tracks of the DS ones. There are four different tracks that appear in this, and I will do them, and as well show off the different features, and also a little bonus thing in the N64 version, and I'll have just one video dedicated to that. I don't know when that's going to happen, but it will happen soon, but uh, I don't know how soon. And I'm not going to even bother going for the coins, because... What I did is I just put my save file from my DS uh, R4 because I have an R4 by the way, and I put my save file from my DS R4 and just put it on Nose GBA, and um, now it just has everything unlocked. So I'll be able to show off everything what I need to show off. So that's what I'm going to be doing in the near future. And as you can see, Dark World Caverns is one of the easiest too. It's very easy to get all the gold balloons if you're not using a mouse. But <laughs> if you are, it's still very easy to get the bronze rank and get out of my way coin. You are not disrupting me this time. See, we already reached it and there are a couple more coming up, I believe. And if you just keep still, the camera will flip around and there you go. Awesome stuff. We got the silver rank, not bad at all. One of the few times we actually did. I'm quite proud of that, we only missed three balloons, not bad. And here we go to Star City. In fact, I didn't actually show, uh, talk about Dark Moon Caverns. Very oddly, Dark Moon Caverns sounds more country than future, and that's why I don't like it that much. It does, it sounds very odd, I'm just like, what? <laughs> it sounds more country, if you listen to it, listen to the DS version of Dark Moon Caverns, the music, it just sounds more country, and I don't like that. It's like, what? this is future, not country. This is not the old school, this is the new school, let's, let's get it together. Come on. And there's one at the side, good, all right. Da -da 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 -da. Now you can see, you can actually see the DS does a nice job of remodeling the stages. The previous videos didn't really show that off well, but uh, oh well. And, and now you can see why you can use plane in this, because what they do is they put boost, like kind of at the higher areas, and they also put it around that weird spiral thing, that springy thing in the middle, yeah that thing, and they put a boost like right there. It's pretty cool actually. That's why I like this world, because you can do so much with it. I just love this music. All the DS reiterations are nice, except for, again, uh, 
like Jungle Falls, I prefer the original better. I, and in fact, Spaceport Alpha, I prefer the original better, but some of the other ones are, are much, I really like them. And same with Pirate Lagoon, I like Pirate Lagoon better as well. The original. But otherwise, the other ones, I like Snowball Valley, I like the other changes, I mean, it was nice. And Windmill Plains, especially Windmill Plains, that was a big change. And we're done, alright, on to the last area, which is Spaceport Alpha. Here we go! <laughs> Here we go! But... This, listen to this music. Again, I don't know why they decided to change the theme. It's one of those things that they already had the original theme and they just decided to change it. And you know what? It's not bad. It, it sounds pretty futuristic, but it just doesn't fit the spaceport theme. I'm looking for that original spaceport theme, and I like the original much more better. But this is still pretty good. It, I mean, it's nice to just kick back and listen to. Like, you're just like, oh yeah, <laughs> dig that crazy beat. Da -da -da -da. Like, I like that part especially. Da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. So cool. I just, I like it. But I definitely like the original more better. <laughs> but again, look at the, look at how easy these balloons are. They're just in plain sight. In fact, this one has it. Behind things, so this one's actually a bit more harder to get the silver rank, but to get the bronze rank, it's really not that much of a problem. Let me get that. <laughs> I don't want to leave. No balloons are left behind. Okay, there, and there's probably one hiding behind a corner somewhere. There we go. Nice. Whew. I'm actually doing quite well. I'm surprised. Nice. And there, and oh, we're gonna get it right here. Nice. 40 it is, and we are done with all the balloon challenges. Thank you guys for watching me pop some balloons and we are going to continue on to the main card. Let's do this thing! And we have gotten the final gold trophy of it all. You don't actually need to do this but if you want to make your thing look pretty with that gold trophy then by all means go right ahead because who can't resist that gold trophy? But this time we are going to head into Wizpig himself and take him on with Timber who is just right foot right for this because it is Timber's island. It is his land. So he must do it with this zoom in. Dun 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 dun! But I'm not leaving that for long. <laughs> and here we get the epic cutscene that is this part. Watch it. <laughs> it always looks so weird when he does that. He looks like the worm when he does that. Like he's just like, it's the little worm. Like he just, and he's, he's shaking like a worm. It's stupid, Wispig. So we face Wispig, who is on a little jetpack, uh, mini jet kind of thing. I'm a bobber. I, I, I don't know what to call it. And no, no, you're not getting away from me. Get, get back here. This boss fight's a little challenging. Ah, fuck. Darn it. I, uh, it's okay. I can come back. Timber, I like Timber. He is my favorite character. I haven't been showing off that well with Timber because I, for some reason, I got too used to Pipsy and now I'm failing with Timber. But I actually really like Timber. He's pretty much your jack of all trades. He can do everything. He can. He has good speed. He has good acceleration. He has good handling. So he's definitely very good. He's better. He's a better version than Diddy, in fact. So if you want a good player, by all means, pick Timber. He's very good. Now this part, you should probably want to take the shield, but if in, if in case, just lay down below and you probably won't get hit. I think I can come back here if I just get this boost to work for me. As I said, if you do not remember that little boosting trick about- No! Oh, I didn't know that hit you! Oh, that was- oh, da, 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 da. Well, that's one fail chucked up. <laughs> didn't expect it to happen that fast, but that, that was just- I did not know that thing hit you. Oh well. Let's do this again, and let's go. What the hell was that? What just happened? What in the world? Huh? And da 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 da. Okay, that was just weird. I don't know what just happened there. He like he was going, and then randomly he just goes and boom. It's like what? Why is your head in the ground? I I don't even know what happened there. But no! Oh my god! I am not doing well right now. Oh my god. I'm not usually this bad at this, I will admit. 
but for some reason I'm just not controlling well right now. But here is the best thing to do if you get he gets too far. You hit him, he pretty much has that dragon sound. You know when the dragon goes like mm, he does the same thing. In fact I think it's the same voice recording. But oh well. Whoa, okay. <laughs> it's actually funny to see Whisper get hit by that because he just spins around and he's like, whoa. Oh man. I love this race though. It's I love I I actually didn't really uh talk about the theme. The theme is awesome. I love this theme. Cause this theme is so damn cool It feels like a final race with a pig on a jetpack Yes it does, honestly <laughs> And I try not to get hit by that Oh god, I'm not going for that boost again Cause I can pretty much take him over now He doesn't have that much speed so you can catch up to him quite quickly It's not like in uh... Ah! Like, uh, like you see, you pretty much don't have to use boost all that much You can catch up to him pretty quickly even without it uh, I mean, no, you you have to catch up, let me rephrase that. You have to catch up to him by using the boost, but to maintain your lead, you really don't need it as long as you pilot well. If you do not pilot well, then he will catch up to you. That's essentially what happens, because it's not like, um, well, unless you use an uber character like TT, then the first race, I mean, you'll pretty much have a lead even if you don't use the boost all that much. But if you use, like, a regular character like Timber and stuff, then, no, 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 no. I, I, that's not good. <laughs> I, I am totally going against my good piloting rule. Damn it! Why do I have to start now? It's the final lap. Okay, I just have to be careful. Get a couple more boosts to extend my lead. Because as you can see, he's really not that fast. But it's just the fact that if you mess up, he will come back. So just you have to watch out for that. Oh! Oh! No! No! Get up! That timber! Go! Go! Okay. Whew. Jesus! God! I can hear his. Uh, little shocking thing in the background. That's not good. He's catching up. I must use this. Get the balloon. No! Oh, you yeah, he's like he went right through it. Okay, I'll stay below. No! Oh my god! Oh, oh, I thought that was Whispig. That was close. What the hell? That has never hit me so much times. Finish Timber. He's right behind me. Go, go, go. Yes! Yes! Ha ha! Awesome! Woo! That was close. Oh my god. Just, just watch this. This is this this is a good reward. I like this. It's the one of the most absurd cutscenes I've ever seen. Just, just watch this. Sting gets out of control because he can't accept defeat, and he goes into space. <laughs> Listen to this music. It's just so weird. This cutscene just came out of nowhere. He just goes and crashes into a planet. <laughs> bye, bye, whiz pig. Bye, bye. <laughs> Most weirdest cutscene ever, just honestly. <laughs> Can never forget that thing, oh my god. But, I do like this, uh, these next parts, they are just so cool. <laughs> Most happiest cutscene you'll ever see. Oh, well, maybe not happiest, because obviously Yoshi is probably the most happy. Same with Mario. <laughs> but still, nothing could beat a good old conga line like that one. I always thought that was Tip Top for some reason. I don't know why. You just look like him, obviously because they're turtles, but uh, still, <laughs> it just it looked like him. But it, then I realized it was a frog when he jumped off, and I'm like, oh, well, okay. <laughs> that was kind of a hint that, oh, look, <laughs> you kind of need to run over a frog to get drumstick if you didn't realize by now. <laughs> and here we get the kids. Yay! Everyone's frolicking. Of course she goes on a pink triceratops. You racist mouse! Oh well. <laughs> I like this music though. But don't think it ends there. More happiness! <laughs> the seal is actually a giant. Look at him compared to the triceratops. Like, oh my god. I wasn't expecting that one bit. Oh, that's that's what started Conker's Bad Further right there. His... his his unwillingness, or his daredevilness, just took him over. And of course you have Timber and Diddy, the main icons of this game, because it is Timber's land. Yep, I didn't actually point that out. Because it is, that is what it's called, which I didn't know actually, for a wa long time. And then of course you get the Golden Taj. Isn't it all worth it to see Golden Taj in person? It's just so magnificent! And then, just like all Nintendo villains, they just don't go away, and they don't die, because that would be cruel.
but you can hear that exasperated laugh. He's given up. <laughs> he has finally given up. And here we get the credits, very short credits, not very long. I, for one, have enjoyed this Let's Play. I got to revisit my childhood again. This was a lot of fun, I must say. This this game is just, it just, honestly, uh, to have a story within this game, it's just, it's really cool, and I always liked it. It just, and especially to have, it got so popular that they had to have the DS remake. I mean, it, honestly, it's a very good game. I do recommend it for anybody. Even the DS remake, if you, if you don't have the N64, go for the DS remake. It's just as good, but you do have to get a little used to the timing. As I said, I will be posting a bonus video showing uh, the different differences between the versions, balloons and stuff, mainly just showing the DS, but then I'll do also this little bonus video on the N64, which you'll see why I'll be doing it in just a second once we get to it. But um, I must say, you know, this, I just, you know, it, it lasted a bit longer than my Mario Kart Double Dash 1. This has been a lot of fun to make. It just, I, this is the first time I ever did like a split screen thing where I had two things going on at once. So, you know, slowly and slowly this thing brought out the best in me. Uh, editing wise because I never really realized how to do that before and you know I really this is now you know really prepared me for future let's plays that I might do um, now that I figured out you know a proper settings for the Nose GBA I may actually feel like doing a DS let's play because honestly I like DS games and I might do some this is my, a DS let's play might hit this channel anytime soon but I'll have to tinker around with tinker around with a couple more things before I actually do that but Thanks to this Let's Play, man, I have honestly, I'm feeling like venturing around to some ones that I've, you know, maybe said that, oh, I probably shouldn't do, but this has inspired me to do it, and I'm glad I've done this Let's Play, because it was a lot of fun to make, and it just, it was well worth it, because, honestly, this game was my childhood. It was one of the only three games I had for the N64 when I was a child. Now I have a lot more, because I see them at stores, but it just, it's one of my, one of my childhood games, and I'm glad I got to Let's Play it. And if you see there, they give you a little bonus code every time you beat the game, and those are cheats. As you can see there, all balloons are different, and basically, if you put these cheat codes in, and you, uh, and you, uh, put them on, I mean, it changes the game a little bit, and I'll be showing that off in the bonus video. That's what I was gonna talk about. And here, they just recap all the time trial times you've done. They're, these aren't very good. I can actually probably destroy these records. But, you know, I don't really, I didn't really try, all I was trying to do was just beat TT on the time trial to just unlock him, so I didn't really care about getting the best time. But they do that, and it's not, you know, I, I didn't do too badly, but I definitely can do better than this. And I'm pretty sure you guys can too. But we are getting down to the final minutes, and I'd just like to say that thank you all for watching. Uh, this is... It's been another great racing Let's Play, and I like racing games a lot, so I probably will do more in the future. And I uh, thank you guys a lot for watching. It's It's been a fun ride while it lasted. And I hope you guys continue to watch my other Let's Plays, such as Pokemon Coliseum. This is Mario Central closing off on Diddy Kong Racing. So long, take care, and farewell.